Welcome back to the channel, guys. For those that are new here, my name is Jay, and today we'll be covering how to use your iPhone or iPad as a secondary monitor while recording videos using Filmic Pro and Filmic Remote. But before we get started, if tech is something that you're into, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you like these types of videos, please leave a like so that the YouTube algorithm will be nice to this video. Let's get to it. So if you are someone who uses your mobile device to create content, I'm almost positive that you've ran into the issue of not being able to see yourself while recording with the rear facing camera on your iPhone. I know for myself, I record all the videos on this channel with my iPhone, and I can honestly say that it does suck using the rear camera and having to make sure everything is set prior to stepping in front of the camera. Well, today I'm going to show you one way to solve this problem. So all you need is two mobile devices, for example, your iPhone that you're recording with, and another iPad or iPhone that will act as the secondary monitor. And last but not least, you will need these two apps, Filmic Pro and Filmic Remote. We will cover Filmic Pro in a later video. However, today we'll just focus on using Filmic Remote so that you can take full advantage of having a secondary monitor. So what I'm gonna be doing here is using my iPhone 10 as my main shooting device using the rear facing camera. My iPad Air 4 will be my monitor. Now, when you set this up, you'll be able to control this phone over here on the iPad and use it as a secondary monitor. So let's set that up real quick. So first things first, you wanna go into Filmic Pro. And once you're in Filmic Pro, I'm gonna have this camera just facing my plant over here. That way you guys can see me control it on my iPad over here. So what you wanna do is go into the settings. You wanna go into device and you wanna make sure that remote control is turned on, not off, turn it on. Once remote control is turned on, this camera is good to go. You can set it up wherever you want to. So in this case, I have my trusty stand right here. So I'm gonna have my stand here and I'm gonna let this camera face the plant. So hopefully you guys can see that this camera is recording the plant here or looking at the plant. So from here, what you wanna do is go into your monitoring device and you're going to hit Filmic Remote. Once you hit Filmic Remote, it's going to ask you, do you want to connect? You're gonna hit yes. And over here on this device, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you, how long do you want to allow access? So I'm gonna hit always allow so that I don't have to always do this again. So I'm gonna hit always allow. And right then and there, I have the display right here on my iPad and I can control everything from my iPad. So let's say if I turn this camera this way, just like this, as you can see right here on my iPad, I can control everything. So now I can go into here, I can play with my settings, I can play with my shutter, and all of that and it's changing right here on my actual iPhone 10. So that way, when I have this camera sitting up like this, I now don't have to go and check it. I can just sit my iPad or my other iPhone or anything in my, in my hand and get it all put together that way. That way you don't have to use your front facing camera because you wanna take full advantage of the rear facing camera on all your devices. Now, I do know that the iPhone 12 um, do have the 4K on the front facing camera, but it, it is always better to use that rear facing camera. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little quick video showing you that if you are somebody who uses your mobile device as your main recording device, that you can use a secondary device as a monitor and a controller so that you can get all your videos done and be able to see yourself. It's been your boy, Jay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.